Life on the move is a constant state of change, where every couple of days we have a new destination, a new home, and a new adventure. Just blasting into one of the world's most famous harbors. Each voyage is unique. It's like the air has a, a dustiness to it or a haziness. And is anything but predictable. Hey. And all this practice is improving our abilities as sailors. Second time feels a lot less stressful. <laughs> now we're moving this quickly because we're on our way to Malta where we're gonna have a baby, but our due date is approaching quickly. So we're taking advantage of each weather window that comes our way to make progress towards our destination while attempting to still explore as much as possible. Well, I don't know exactly how this happened, but there is quite a bit of water in the tubes of the dinghy. Kind of a bummer. So I think we're gonna try to get rid of that water now. And I've never had to do this before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work. But little buddy is excited. He's like, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, uh, what? uh, window. How come my shit always gets wet? All right, we are ready for adventure time. We got the dinghy in the water. I think we're gonna try to climb the Rock of Gibraltar. And Desiree is very excited and ready for adventure, isn't she? I'm all sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a nap. I'm ready to go back in another one. <laughs> yeah, so we're both a little tired uh, from our overnight sail, but we don't have time to rest today. Uh, we have another weather window to continue on coming up here in the next like day or two. And so today is the only day that we're gonna get to explore this town while we're here. And we gotta do that because it's Gibraltar, man. It seems like a cool place. This is the one downside of this anchorage. There's no real place to tie up to. But in the reviews, I did read that there's this one staircase that has this like giant random metal structure that you can at least lock your dinghy to. Well, this'll do. I mean, at least the stern line is definitely keeping the boat off of the rocks. Anyway, ugh, just gonna <laughs> live with it for right now. But this is cool. I didn't actually know this. Gibraltar on the north coast of the strait and then Morocco like on the southern end of the strait. There's mountains on either end of the strait and those were the pillars of Hercules. To many it signified the non plus ultra, the end of the known world. That's pretty cool, but not as cool as those This is the pillars. end of the known world, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just heard what about dogs on this trail? Osa's gonna have to grow up real fast because I guess they attack dogs. <laughs> the the monkeys <laughs> attack dogs. attacked the dogs. Fight off some monkeys. <laughs> With your the pillars of Hercules. <laughs> you gotta look out for the monkeys, all right, man. doesn't even know what's about to go down. This is my baby, okay? I'm sure you have your own babies. You could just let us walk by and uh, we won't cause any trouble, okay? Here you go, it's okay. So this monkey is very close to me right now. I didn't realize that they like straight up approached you. I kind of feel like I'm about to get like mugged. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Okay, big guy. What are we doing here, huh? Well, okay, he didn't take my watch or my wallet, so that's good. <laughs> well, it's a good view. Too bad Oso didn't get to fulfill his dream of being murdered by a monkey. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Then he's like, what? 
I'm, I'm, what are you talking about? I'm not following you. Hey, how's it going? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Hey! Oh boy. Hey! Okay, well, that got out of hand. <laughs> this dude is just gonna keep following me. It's not good news. The sign is basically like, please be advised, these monkeys might F you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is terrifying. It's yeah. like this super narrow staircase that goes all the way down. Hate to say it, but my knees kind of have a hard time going downstairs like this for long periods of time now. Getting old, buddy. You want to try going down the road for the rest of the way? Nah, it's all right. I think Are I can sure? handle it. We only got like 2,000 steps to go. I may be old, but I'm tough. I'm like Clint Eastwood. Get off my lawn. All right, we got another gang of monkeys here. They're like bandits. They want to extract a toll from us for us to continue on. Hey, back off, back off. <laughs> Gotta say, I don't like holding the bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good news is we made it off the mountain, <laughs> off the rock. We still um, have a dog that's alive. Oh, so did not get eaten by the <laughs> monkeys. All right, we just got stamped back in, back in Spain. The dinghy is still here. All it's right. still inflated. We are winning right now. Woo. I'm very happy about that. We went to a really fancy <laughs> Spanish restaurant and got to go food. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Well, we are home sweet home, and I think we're all pooped. How are you feeling, bud? Very tired. We had some stuff stolen from the dinghy. Darn it. I think we had like a dry bag in there with uh, like a whistle, and I think we had an electronic flare in yeah. there. Well, you ready for your gourmet dinner? Yeah. <laughs> what you looking for? Mosquitoes. <laughs> Probably killed 15 of them. There's just blood all over the V-Birth. <laughs> Got him. Did you get it? Yeah, that was a bloody one. Go get him. <laughs> Got him. So, what time is it, bud? Uh, I think it's like 5 a.m. Yeah. Editing day is gonna be a long day to yeah. today. So, I really love coffee. But I actually have found that when sailing offshore, it can kind of contribute to me feeling seasick. Plus, I don't really like that caffeine jittery feeling. So I've been trying to cut back on coffee by drinking AG1 by Athletic Greens. It's got energy supporting ingredients that really help boost my focus without those negative caffeine effects. In fact, I feel like it makes me smarter. <laughs> Wait, hang on, bud. You think drinking Athletic Greens makes you smarter? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, let's prove it. What is the inverse of the square root of 54,395 multiplied by pi? 17.3 times 19 times divided by more than 20. 20. No, 14 right. divided by right. 5 million seven hundred twenty nine thousand three hundred and forty two. No. All right, so maybe it doesn't make me smarter, but I do love how much more focused and productive it makes me feel. So if you'd like to give AG1 a try, then click on the link in the description below, and you can get one year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, as well as five travel packs totally free with your first purchase. And a big thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. making our way slowly to Malta, hop by hop. We had a really rough night of sleep yesterday. The anchorage was kind of rolly, and we had some mosquito attacks again. Because of that, Jordan's 
still asleep. He's usually an early riser, so I'm just letting him sleep. And we have some bananas that are going bad, so I'm gonna make some banana egg pancakes. And hopefully, once he gets up, we'll get underway. I'm getting ready to feed the fishies. Um, before we sit down and have some breakfast. We've got a bunch of stale bread from our last passage. Oso knows what's about to go down. He loves this part of the day. They're everywhere. Yeah, you like them? How's it feel doing this the second time? Second time feels a lot less stressful. <laughs> the first time we did it, I was just super stressed out and intimidated by these huge boats everywhere, dodging them and everything. But today, I'm kind of used to seeing them, used to being this close to them, so I'm feeling good. So, bud, make sure you give this guy like a lot of room. Uh -huh because he's downwind of us. So if like the engine were to die all of a sudden, we would need some time to get the head sail out to be able to sail away. There's a bunch of sailboats trying to get around this point. It's getting a little bit tight. You see the dolphins? All right, well, we are heading out into open water. We're leaving the last couple of big ships behind us. We got the wind at our back. It's strong. It's a good feeling right now. So the Pillars of Hercules, if you're ever curious, right there, and right there, and then right there. Mm. Yeah, mm. all right. Mm. All right, well, the wind has just about completely died. For now, I'm really enjoying ghosting along, again, in nearly flat, calm seas. We've been doing a lot of this lately, and it's so fun. It's so pleasant just to be able to really, truly relax and enjoy myself. You may notice that we've got the dinghy behind me in the davits. That's something that we haven't actually done yet while sailing, particularly while sailing offshore. So first of all, there's not forecast to be almost any wind for this pass. Passage. Their waves are going to be nearly non-existent. They'll probably be smaller than this for the most of the trip. So I want to start doing this where we have the dinghy in the davits for day sails or overnight sails when we know it's not going to get too bumpy. When Pacific Seacraft built these davits, they were saying that to make davits that are truly offshore davits that you can put a dinghy in when waves start to build and the wind gets strong, that's something that needs some serious structural strength in order to be 100% certain that you're not going to damage something. We're feeling it out. We're seeing what we can get away with here. Obviously, we could get caught with our pants down. We're going to try this out for a little bit and see how it goes. So one thing that's cool about sailing in lots of different places in the world is that everywhere has its own like particular vibe. And here on the southern coast of Spain, it's like the air has a, a dustiness to it or a haziness. And so sunsets and sunrises are really dramatic because the whole sky just turns orange. And you can see the Horizon's got these mountains, but the mountains are very hazy. You can just barely make out the outlines. And that's what I'm gonna remember about this part of Spain. All right, well, 
good morning. It is about 6 a.m. The sky is getting lighter. It feels like we're motoring through a lake right now, but it's so beautiful because you can see the mountains on the port side of Atticus. And then on the starboard side, there's actually a lot of fog, and it's actually really difficult to make out the water from the sky. We are minutes away from our marina and I'm just enjoying our last couple minutes of this amazing view. All right, so this is going to be our first experience. It's not technically med mooring because we're not using our anchor. They've got ground lines. We've got lines running aft into the water and we've got lines coming from the dock to the boat and we just kind of nose up in between two boats. Now, most people, when they med moor, will go stern too because it's easier to get on and off the boat. But because of our solar panels extending off the stern and then our dinghy on the davits, we're gonna go bow in. Okay, cool. We're on. Yes. <laughs> Well, we're all tied up. We are walking distance from a grocery store, a restaurant, laundry, I think even a dentist. Yeah, so Al Marimar is well known as one of the most popular wintering marinas for boats that are in the Mediterranean all year round. Because winter is just not a good time for cruising in the Med. The weather gets really volatile. But Al Marimar is pretty darn warm in the winter comparatively. And I think their rates are pretty cheap because this area isn't a super popular cruising ground. So that's kind of the concept is everything you need is right here in this complex. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Wow, that looks good, bud. Thank you. Ooh, and non-alcoholic beer. Yep. My Cheers. favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers. Very good, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. It's really cool time of the day. Everyone comes out at like nine or 10 o'clock because it's super hot during the day. So it's really fun just to people watch, see all the dogs and kids and families. Play with a little buddy. Play with the baby. Man, the Mediterranean water is warm. I know, it feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> and Oso likes it. He's having a great time. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this week's episode. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to thank some of our newest patrons. So to our newest Yachtmaster level patrons, a huge thank you to Klaus Hoffer, Rodney from Allison Sales and Canvas, and thank you so much for an amazing stack pack. Kat and Warren Moravec, J. Paul Mills, Shell Kent, and Bruce Heidrich. And finally, to our newest deckhand level patrons, thank you so much. Chris Charles, Murray McMillan, Mark Pike, Jennifer Tipton, Tina Abiel, Larry Leonard, Bill Waldo, Sarah Foley, Jeff Fluke, John Good, Christopher Barber, Stephen Lydia Howe, Richard Johnson, George R. Reed, Pearson Julianne, Brad Heisey, Jake Colmanero, and Keith Forrester. So to our newest patrons and to those who've been with us from the very beginning, thank you so much for all of your love, support, and encouragement. Without it, we wouldn't be able to make these videos. Hope you have a great weekend and we'll catch you next week. Bye!